In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take your Nearpod lessons and bring them into your learning management system, making it simple for the students to access. So in this case, we are a Schoology district. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pop on over to my Schoology course, and I'm going to locate a place where I want my Nearpod lesson to appear. So let's say I want it at the top of my course page. So I'm going to click on my to add materials and I'm going to come to the option that says Nearpod. We have added this to our district uh, Schoology page, so you will have access to this in any of your Schoology courses. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Nearpod. Now, a new window is going to open up, and it's going to jump to the area of your lesson so that you can select a lesson. If you are prompted to log into Nearpod, um, you can do so on the screen, but I always find it helpful to ha already be logged into Nearpod on another tab just to ensure that it picks up my lessons automatically. So you can see it's loading all of my Nearpod lessons. You don't have the full Nearpod screen because you're not building the Nearpod lesson from here. You're just adding a completed lesson. So I'm going to select a lesson that I want to include. Say I want my students to interact with this lesson on earthquakes. So when you hover on the lesson you want to put into Schoology, you have two options. You can include your Nearpod lesson as a live participation, meaning the students will not be able to actually go through the Nearpod lesson without you controlling the slides. This is, means you are in control of the lesson. Or if you want the students to do this on their own as a review or homework, you can click student paste and then the students will interact with the Nearpod on their own and you don't need to be controlling the Nearpod lesson for them. So let's say, for instance, we're going to do this in class the next day. So I click on Live Participation, and that's really all you have to do. It will automatically put it in here. So now I'm going to click on this lesson, and I'm going to start this lesson, and I'll jump over as a student just so that you can see. It makes it very easy for the students to interact because they don't need a code or anything to get in. As long as they are enrolled in your Schoology course, they will be able to interact with this Nearpod lesson as you begin it. So you can see here it's loaded for me as a teacher. So now I'm going to jump over to my other browser, and let me just refresh the screen since I just added this Nearpod so that my student can view it. So you can see here, the student has access to it. So when they click on it, it's going to automatically populate with their name as given in Schoology. So they don't even really need to do anything here, but confirm it as soon as the screen loads. So I, all I need to do is click on Join Lesson, and I'm ready to go. So this is going to load the first slide in the lesson, but I can't do anything else because my teacher is in control of this lesson. So if I jump back over to my teacher view and then I advance to the next slide, as this slide loads, my student on the other end will also be able to view this slide. And it's, here we go. So if I jump on over over here, this slide will automatically move over because as the teacher, I advanced it for them. So this was the live participation mode. And again, you can insert a, the Nearpod in the exact same way that I did and select student participation if you want the students to interact with your Nearpod on their own. And that's really it.